So this week I'm going on a journey that takes me to a different route than usual and it leads me to discover a golf course and a hotel which are very special indeed. A change in direction in my search for some winter golf takes me down south to play on one of England's finest examples of Heathland golf and I'll be staying in Surrey's finest hotel and spa, Penny Hill Park. Playing golf in what's commonly known as Surrey Sandbelt will be a first for me and a real privilege to play one of the finest examples of Heathland golf. Heathland is synonymous with golf in England, and particularly in Surrey, and the Berkshire has 36 holes of Heathland heaven, and today I'll be taking on the blue course with a special challenge. Right, I can tell you, I didn't have the nerve to stick a camera behind me and attract too much attention, but I hit a really good three wood. And I can't see it into the sun, but I think we're in and around the green. All I can say is after the nervy start, it's a great two putt, that's a par three to start. We'll have a look round today, but we're also going to be taking on a challenge and it includes this par three and three more. Oh! What's the start of the day? <laughs> Founded in 1928, the Berkshire Golf Club is home to two Herbert Fowler designed courses, both of which are widely regarded as amongst the best in the British Isles. The Berkshire is a quintessential British Heathland golf course, and although considered a traditional members club, it welcomes visitors. And I have to say, I spoke to many members who seem very friendly indeed, and a very accommodating clubhouse. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. We're going to play all the par threes and I'm going to ask you to guess what I score. We've played one of them, it was the first and I parred it, so there's a little bit of a head start for you. Hole number four is just playing around 140, a fantastic little par three. So get in that comment section below. Three more to go, what will my cumulative total be in today's video? It's 140 into a little bit, I'm going to play a smooth seven is the plan. right on the flag oh it's also right in the bunker ah not enough but when you realize how close the flag is to the other side of this bunker you realize this could have been a very good shot it's also an incredible down slope and we've now got a pretty tough one up and land soft that is as good as I can play a bunker shot we might save a par Oh, come on, no messing. Not a lot in this. Firm in the middle. Yeah, okay, that is a great up and down. Two par threes, two threes. Don't be cheating either, make sure your guess is in already. Now although the sunshine suggests otherwise, it is January and the course is in incredible condition. But I would love to return to see the heather in full bloom. The fairways lined with purple and pine trees would see the Berkshire in all its glory. A great bit of course design on six. Um, I chose to play three wood par five, give her a bell. What I didn't see was this kind of stream that meanders its way all from sort of 150 in right the way to well, about 10 yards further on. And I've been very fortunate um, to be on dry land. I've got a decent lie as well. Has it got to go? Oh no. Fortune favours the brave, eh? 
The Berkshire is steeped in tradition and played host to many major events such as the English Amateur Championship and the British Seniors Open Championship and also two major annual events on the amateur calendar, the Asta Salva for ladies and the Berkshire Trophy for men. Now this is where it could all go horribly wrong. And we're playing really far forward on this winter tee. I'm playing 160 par three, lots of water down the right hand side. It's a fairly big green, and we're from an elevated T position. I'm going to hit six iron. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> you can tell I didn't want to go right. Just pull that down the left a little. It was a right club as well. It's pin eye, not brave enough to go for that flag for fear of anything leaking to the right. I think we'll be happy with that. Well, it's definitely the right club and definitely the right decision to come what is down the left hand side because that flag is a lot closer to the water's edge than I thought. Anyway, I imagine this is a slippy putt in the summer months. You wouldn't want to go too far past the flag. Let's see if we can just nudge it down there. Get me a bit further. Oh, that was a good line as well. Yeah, we've notched up three threes. But perhaps more importantly, just how good are those three par threes and just how good is the Berkshire? Oh my word, what a golf course. That was a bullet of a three wood from today's sponsor Tacomo. And the irons I've been playing in today's videos are the 101 Ts and the 301 CBs alongside the Tacomo fairway woods. Once again, huge thanks for the support from Tacomo. The Herbert Fowler design was not overly long, but provided an immense variety in its layout. Playing in amongst the idyllic surround made for a day of golf which will long live in my memory. Now, as ever, it's time for photo of the week, and this could be the best haul we've collected so far. If you're new around here, it's a simple Tracy or Andy in the comment section below for photo of the week. Right, okay, final part of the challenge and an unreal par three as well. They've been so, so good and all very different as well. This one's just playing 130 from the forward seat. Huge amount of protection in terms of bunkers all around this one. Just starting to be uh, casting some longer shadows. The light behind you starting to fall. Looks unreal. Camera's perched on the green. Kind of make 127. Find a short stuff and either finish with a birdie would be fantastic, but I'd also be happy with a par and four par threes would be fantastic. Come on, and. Oh, and that's the best one today. Come on, be the right yardage and sit on it. Oh, golf shots, come on. Okay, let's see if we can finish over the birdie. I was being very, uh, optimistic when I said finish with a birdie but now this is a well should be a real chance looks so like there's a bit of movement in it come on oh and you just haven't hit it firm enough there's just not enough commitment there too scared of sort of it running off past down the hill so uh yeah it is however 
four par three, so anybody who gets 12 shots, you were correct. an unbelievable afternoon at the Berkshire Golf Course. This was the blue course, don't forget. I can't speak highly enough of it. It's certainly one of the best courses I've ever played and also not forgetting that we're playing it in January. Incredible. Anyway, this special little trip doesn't end here and I can't wait to see what's in store this evening at Penny Hill Park. Hill Park Hotel and Spa is set in 120 acres of parkland and this hotel is something special and a perfect stay and play option for golf on the Surrey Sandbelt. The location ensures you can experience some of the finest golf courses anywhere in the country alongside a luxurious and relaxed hotel retreat. Now as you can see, Penny Hill Park is a very luxurious hotel and our room was pretty special. So nice we almost didn't want to leave it, but we did prize ourselves away to dine at the Hillfields restaurants and as expected the food was excellent. Luxury aside, Penny Hill Park is located right in the middle of Surrey's finest golf courses. It was seven minutes from the Berkshire, but has Walton Heath, Swinley Heath, Sunningdale and Wentworth right on its doorstep. And if you want a day of rest, then the spa at Penny Hill is the perfect retreat. This really was an unforgettable play and stay in Surrey. It's, uh, as I've already explained, some of the finest golf and hotel accommodation we've experienced on this journey so far. I'll see you next week.